What's going on everyone, Metal Raymond here, and welcome back to another Group Iron Man episode number 52. Yeah, 52, goddamn. Today we're going to be doing a lot of different things, some PKing in the wilderness, trying to get a little bit of a player kills in the name. Didn't go that well though. Um, a lot of task scrolls, rune coin grinding, all the same old, same old. You guys know what's up. There's a lot of similar overlapping goals at this point in the game. But, I don't want to spoil everything in the intro. First, we have a very juicy giveaway, as usual, two $30 bonds. If you want to enter that giveaway, all you need to do is, of course, subscribe to the channel, like this video, come to ring and name down below, and turn on your post notifications. You've done all of that, you enter the giveaway. Wish you all the best of luck on that. If you're new to Runex and you want to try it out for yourself, please do use the link at the top of the description, as it helps me out a ton. And, of course, make sure you join the Runex Discord and my own private Discord links in the description down below as well. Anyway, hope you guys uh, win one of those lucky $30 bonds and enjoy the video. Let's jump right into it. Figured I might as well uh, have a little fight. Oh, my screen's a little off. There we go. Might as well have a little fight with Mr. Grimm over here. Because why not, honestly? I've never really uh, PK'd at all on Runex. I feel like I'm heavily... Oh shit, damn. Not bad. Didn't see that one coming, honestly. For all I said about prayer switches and shit, nice one. Also the fact that I've literally never PK'd on Runex before, so it takes a little little bit of getting used to, honestly. Plus I haven't played like any NHing servers in like what? Two, three months here? It's just this year lags, that's an interesting choice. Ooh, I figured he would change prayers, but still didn't hit high enough. Hmm. His special attack was uh good, better than good. Almost had me with that one, not gonna lie. Big chance on his part, but uh, the whole movement thing and the instant refreezes is really fucking me up as well. Definitely need a minute to get back into this whole thing here. We're gonna have a little rematch. I know this isn't really group Iron Man progress, so to say, but you know, interesting nonetheless, I think. Just a few short PK clips in there. Well, probably me dying, let's be real here. I didn't even bring a proper teleport, like a one click teleport. It's because I never had an H on here. First time in my life. Yeah, no point. This time let's try a little harder. I do have a huge bad disadvantage against him, to be fair, but it is what it is. Damn, dude, his fucking mage is plowing me right now. Damn, I can't barely even get a spec off. It's pretty tricky. I want to get him. For sure, at some point. He's a pretty goddamn good Brit, not gonna lie. At least better than I am. Interesting how his crossbow goes into an instant GMO, basically. From what I can tell. Very, very strange. Was I'm on pot at the moment. Yeah, good fight. Mamma mia pizzeria, here we go again. You can't melee prayer a lot from a distance, bro. Oh. Good fight. Nice little 68 right there. GG's, my man. Well, that was fun. A little in between break. GG the Abbey crossbow, but honestly, couldn't give less of a shit. I don't play this account in the first place. But that was a lot of fun, to say the very least. I don't think I have any uh, any replacements on the majority of the stuff I just lost. Absolutely fine. I could care less. Let's jump back to the Iron Man, because I'm sure you guys didn't uh, come for the PK and clips. Can't wait to get PK ready, so to say, on MGI Raymond, though, for the uh, achievements, such as 50 kill streak and all of that. But we definitely need more practice for this kind of stuff. Alright, time for a little E Corp. Well, it's nice to blow off some steam PK. Fun little change of pace, so to say. And honestly, when it comes to Metal Raymond, I haven't like played it seriously in such a long time. I couldn't really care about losing any items, so I figured I might as well do it. Would have been fun. He hunted me and Willy so many times already as it is, so... It was a, was a good chance, so to say, but... It was especially hard, because he, every time, you know, from a distance, or when he was about to be unfrozen, or I was about to be unfrozen, all of that, he just camped pr melee prey, like every time. I, I know I can't melee pray a few times here and there as well, but that's mainly because I turned it on and forget to turn it off. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, he definitely got me off guard with that spec, so props to him. It was a fun little fight, to say the very least. Let's go focus back on the group Iron Man now. We have a little E-Corp spawn and we're going to go ahead and get the best pet in the game right now. I hope. 
All right, it's getting close to dying now. Good luck me. Please, man, give me e pet. I know I'm never lucky on that, but... Wow, one drop for one person, damn. But we did get bonus shards, so I'll gladly be taking those. Doesn't happen too often. Very nice. All right, a few more trips later, and we're back at 31,000 summer gems. Let's see what we get from our next rolls. Can we hit that red drop table, maybe? Grand prize key. Yes, a normal one. That's great. One more. Okay, epic crystal key. That's fine. That's fine. We get another prize key. I was just opening the fucking mystery chests in and of its own makes me so excited. Just so much fun to do. Let's see what we get from this mystery chest. Probably gonna continue tomorrow with some more. But for now, let's get um, Zebo or something. Oh, that's pretty disgusting. Not gonna lie. Like two absolutely worthless items that you can't use for basically anything. Band of chest plate is only 300, ranger boots 100, and the infinity book is 500. That's pretty bad, but the book of infinity is useful though. That is, uh, yeah, that's okay. We'll get more soon. I've saved up a decent amount of tackle if I have to say so myself. 1.1 million. 27k per Berserker necklace for the best possible rune coin return, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure from what I've heard from all around. If you compare all the items price to rune coin value, this one is definitely the most profitable. Let's just buy 1.1 million tackle worth of Berserker necklace, basically. More than 28, that's very nice. I don't even know how much this gets me. The rest automatically go to the bank, that's very nice though. And that's all of them. Let's see how many that actually gave. There's 70 rune coins each as well. So that brings us to a total of 40. So that's exactly 2800 rune coins, I want to say, from the top of my head. Gonna have to get a bunch more in order to, uh, you know, get rune coins to do more enchanted chest thingies. But overall, looking pretty damn good, honestly. Probably gonna save up some more for tomorrow and try to get another 15k big boy. Get 22.5k rune coins again and enchant some, uh, enchant some more prize chest. I wouldn't honestly even mind opening them without a prize key. Because it's, you know, it's easier to get an M chest when you get a key than to get a key when you have an M chest, if that makes sense. Really wish there were easier ways to go about it, but... Only one in a thousand from the summer event. And the chest itself, you know, you get a maximum of five guaranteed and getting five mystery chests isn't all that difficult honestly so yeah gonna leave that off right there hopefully tomorrow we can have our third of cold and uh, finish up the mass task as well would be interesting i've no idea how much room coin value i honestly have at the moment but should be a decent amount and we have 3k to spare as well so I might as well try one actually rather than that how many tokens do i have have a little look only six attempts not all that worth at the moment so let's grab one prize chest and see if we can enchant it you know what if we manage to enchant it i'll open it without a key because honestly why the fuck not i've seen some crazy loots even without keys and uh like i just said easier to get a new one even if i fail it which i don't let's open it without a key yeah okay that's pretty bad Two Staff of the Dead, 400 Rune Coins, 475, 550, and a Narda Teleport Scroll. Pretty nice that you can open that menu with Control. Just shows the entire guys for it. That's pretty sick. But um, yeah, definitely not the best one, but requires a lot of luck. Also, I've been having uh, seen, I've seen some questions about my uh, current collection log for it. I think it's this one, Donator Boxes and Chests. We have a Gilded Cannon. The slat and two crest pieces. Bit on the low ball side, if I do say so myself, for 276 opened, meaning multiple rolls from certain mystery boxes and mystery chests, but wow, looking at how many potential rares are in there, we still have quite a bit to go. Quite a bit indeed. Alright, I just noticed the uh, daily event thingy uh, changed over to dragons for the next 45 minutes. Since I have 63 rune dragons to kill, I figured I might as well go ahead and do exactly that uh, while I get some gems as an extra. Could potentially get some Vorkaf teleports and all of that good stuff. I need Cursed Light from Mister real quick in order to complete the task. Let's get to it. Kill 63 rune dragons and we'll leave the occult part for later when we, uh, when we need it. Let me just actually track it real quick. 
yeah, that will make my life easier. Alright, midway to our Rune Dragon endeavors, and I just completed the Rune Dragon achievement. Kill 100 Rune Dragons for a free M box. See what we get from that. 250 Super Combats! Oh my god, that's insane! Actually, not really. Um, surely, though, there's a lot more to go. I can do 9k Qs to get that one. A few more moles. Chop Chompy, definitely not looking forward to that one. Kill 1000 Chompies, it sounds like hell. Man, I do want to focus on this in the near future, though. I've never done a fucking Anku daily. I really should. Pyramid Plunder kill 1,000 mummies. Oh, I'm close to that, actually. Kill Jungle Demon dailies. Do my Battle Mages thing. Quite a bit to go. Especially the Master and Elite task. Elite is only three left. That's not too bad, actually. Close to that. But this is why I've been wanting to do some Master tasks. But you don't often get them. Um, where you can actually complete them, you know what I mean? A lot of them, uh, you know, give me tasks I can't complete, whether it's items I need to wear that I can't get, or I have to alk something absolutely ridiculous, that kind of deal, but hopefully we can uh, finish the next event just soon and that will give us another 10 Grandmaster bottles. That would be very nice for sure. <laughs> Seems like we have ourselves a nice little Nitro Nuclear spawn. Let's see what we get this time. And a cult would be perfect, which is only 1 in 50. Wouldn't mind getting that, because uh, that would clear out the third one and final piece I need. But let's see what we get. Probably nothing, honestly. Yeah, about expected. Dragon chain, some boss points. Whoopity whoopity do. Yeah, third kill, nothing yet. Just sucks to do them without luck tokens, but then again, you know. What can you expect from them? Dude, it was just destroying me. I couldn't do shit. I had no food left. Oh, that's such a big fucking rip on the points and all of that. I don't know if you can even get a rare item without points. Well, good luck nonetheless, I guess. Sorry, guys. I know that kind of killed the mood on a fucking expert raid, but yeah. KC number 5 of the stream. Good luck. God, bro! Yes! Finally, you got something! Oh my god, at last! And that really hurt my hands. Bro, big fucking grats. Finally, we saw an item. Sanguinesque dependent for my boy Andreas. Live, you saw it here first. Hell yeah! Deserve, man. You carried us hard as fuck. And I have to say... That kind of motivates me to do more experts. The fact that your first drop is instantly here once we do an expert one. I'm just saying. I wish I didn't die. Holy shit, that's pretty fucking good, man. That's pretty fucking good, bro. That's really nice. Congratulations. One of the best stats in game for an enemy. Uh, this one. Sanguine S Dependent. 10 ranged strength, 10 magic damage, 10 strength, and plus 20 in all accuracy stats. Stab slash cross, magic, and range. It's fucking good. Alright, let's go ahead and start the next giveaway for y'all. Damn, it's so nice to see your fucking item, bro. Well deserved, man. I'm really glad just to see you get something. Honestly. Almost 13,000 points. We're 2,000 off of a 35k bonus as well. That's kind of disheartening. Good luck. Nah, come on, game! Why you gotta do this to me? Ah, bro, that's not what I wanted. 
Superior Greed modifier. 10% chance for triple drops during raids. Interesting. Why the crest piece, bro? At least it's not another duplicate. Ah, uh, why? It's a, it's a rare, you know, but fuck me, dude. Not what I was hoping for. <sighs> fuck. If that crest gives me a grand or like a crest beer piece, I'll, I'll I'll be happy. But if not, oh boy, we having an issue. Fuck, dude. Had to be, eh? Good luck. Oh, molten gauntlets. Hey, that's pretty good. Also, not really. Oh, we got a Z Knight as well. That is good. Hell yeah, I'll take that. Dude, that's fucking amazing. Get the fuck out of here. Man said not bad, but I'll probably uh, chuck that right in the room coin machine. Hell yeah, boys.